Hello everyone, this is Steve again at GreenFuelH2O.com I wanted to do an update on the massive hydrogen dry cell. Last run, last video showed you some of the production on it. I was able to get the amps up to about 11 amps before the uh, generator would trip, trip the breaker. So I uh, wasn't able to achieve the 20 liters that I wanted. So what I did is I reconfigured the cell. I went going straight across now, 118 plates, and we're going to feed 240 volts DC into it. So I have the plates now configured to accept the 240 volts. So, what I've done is I've got a uh, junction box, just a square D breaker box, and got it set here with the uh, 30 amp uh, double pole. So I'll be able to, to uh, take in 240 volts AC. I've uh, redone this uh, area here, modified it, so that I can uh, split my this this bar, this neutral terminal bar usually runs across. I split it so I can I can have a positive and negative lug here. And then in this area here, I'm going to have two bridge rectifiers one for each leg of uh, 110 volt DC or 120 volt DC these are uh, 70 amp units that I picked up the uh, the other one in the other box this guy here, it was getting really hot, extremely hot. So um, my power situation wasn't really enough to handle the uh, consumption rate of the uh, generator. So I got the this one, that one over there. That's a that's a 35 amp, major 70s. So I should be able to handle that. And then uh, also picked up some. Some heat sinks. There you can see them. Now I'll attach to the bottom of these. They actually fit very nicely. Also, an addition that I picked up. This uh, bank of capacitors. What these are going to do is gonna, these are going to smooth out the uh, smooth out the DC currents and keep the ripple way down. They are they're huge. This is my hand. That's a big hand. And. <laughs> They are 3600 UF, 3600 microfarad, 400 volt surge, 350 volt capacitors. There's eight of them. That's gonna help to keep the ripple ripple down and supply a constant DC to the uh, generator. So I won't lose so much voltage coming through the circuit. So we're going to hook those all up in parallel to the whole system. So in the next video, I'll have this uh, set up and ready to go. 
And uh, if you like this video, um, please leave me some comments or ask any questions that you want. I'll try and answer them. And uh, if you click on my name, Delvis11, it'll take you to my channel where you can view many more of my videos. Anyway, till next time, thanks for watching, guys, and that's it for now.